بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. So today I want to talk about the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The thing that I want to focus on right now is who are we doing dhikr to? Who are we doing dhikr about? Who is the one we are remembering? How great is he? How awesome he is. This needs to be remembered. That when we are remembering the name of Allah, we don't see Allah. You see, there are many reasons we cannot see Allah. <clears throat> One reason I'll share with you is that when you see something, when you can surveillance something, when you can spy on something, we can see something you have power. The one who sees has the ability to have power. When you cannot see, you are the powerless. When you cannot see Allah and He sees you, then He is in the position of power and you are in the position of having no power. Anyway, why remember the name of Allah? Sabbihisma rabbika la'ala. See, the name of Allah, you take the name of someone you love over and over again. But one problem in the modern times is we're used to seeing a lot of great things. We're, we're, we're used to seeing what would have been considered magic. 500 years ago. We're used to seeing, you know, us, like I can talk to somebody across the world. That's pretty amazing, right? I mean, I can write a letter to somebody across the world. I can drive a car that goes 100 plus miles. I can do a, a lot of amazing things. And so, our concept in our mind of amazing is already met by is already met by human inventions we already imagine ourselves going and living in space it's pretty amazing it's almost as if we feel it's almost as if we feel we don't really need God. I don't need God. I don't need Allah. I do this all on myself. That's what I feel deep down. That I don't need Allah. I can do this on my own. That is how the man in the garden felt who had the garden around him in Sutul Kahf. ما أظن أن تبيذ هذه أبدا. I don't think this garden will ever go away. This is such a perfect garden. I've done such a perfect. Now we're going to create robots, a world of robots, a world of artificial intelligence. You know, we're going to like go to space and get places faster. Why do I need Allah? Why do I need Allah? We forget how great Allah is. We forget how great Allah is. Just try to imagine. Allah knows about every leaf that is falling. Allah knows about every atom in the universe, every subatomic particle in the universe. In this whole infinite universe, we don't see and we don't realize the Jalal of Allah, the Haiba, the, the, the awesome greatness of Allah. We're just impressed by ourselves, by our human selves, by our accomplishments. And we think, and we have told ourselves this story that we have never told ourselves before in history. And that is that our human accomplishments are so high that they are never been like this before. 
we have beat nature as in we have we don't need God anymore and so when you remember God when you tell yourself no I need Allah I'm not going to be fooled by my environment, by my surrounding, by what I hear, and by what I'm made to feel, and by what my eyes may be showing me, and what my ears may be hearing, and I'm going to accept the reality, and throw away the veils, and I'm going to accept and surrender, I'm going to accept that Allah is so powerful. And it's amazing because you would think after all our discoveries of the universe and the human body and our every everything that we would discover how great Allah is. But in fact, the converse happened. The opposite happened. We, because we discovered all this, we thought we were great. That we don't need Allah. We need to spend time telling ourselves to show ourselves. That Allah is greater than us. Allah is greater than human beings. Allah is greater than everything. 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 Greater than everything. And we are just delusional. Mental. When we consider the reality, we are delusional to think that we can do anything and that we have any power and that we have any knowledge and that we have any, any understanding. Remember the name of Allah with the intention of remembering you need Him like fish needs water. We need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than the fish needs water. We need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so powerful. Allah is so powerful. Allah is so powerful. And the problem is the technology around us tells us all the time, reminds us all the time, reminds us, the dhikr to us, I am also powerful. We are also powerful. We also can do great things. And so we live in an environment where we feel more powerful than any time, any other time human beings have felt powerful by the things that we can do. And so we have to remind ourselves, why are we doing dhikr? We're doing dhikr of Allah because we need Allah, because He is the greatest. And we are absolutely nothing compared to Him. We are like nothing. But unfortunately, we let our senses fool us. We let our experience fool us. And we're always being fooled and tricked into believing in the current times that I'm self-sufficient he sees himself self-sufficient Allah says does man think he'll be left alone this is what we want we want to be independent I want to be my individual self no one tell me what to do but do we realize how great Allah is how awesome Allah is? look at Allah's creation he feeds, Allah feeds, all the living creations have been fed, right? Every living creation out there in the land, in the sea, in the air, they've all been fed and they are moving. And we think we're great. Allah created this universe that's ever expanding and expanding bigger and bigger and bigger. This universe is becoming. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created a being like a human being who has imagination and poetry and stories and ideas and jokes and relationships and all this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so great. The, the problem of the modern man is that mo modern man doesn't feel he needs God. And so we do dhikr to remember Allah. To fall in love with him. But to also remember that he is so great. That you can say the dua of the Prophet. Allahumma inni as'alu khashiyataka. Allah, I ask you for your fear. 
اللهم إني أسلب خشيتك ما تهول بيني وبين معصيتك that will come that much fear that will come between me and disobeying you me and disobeying you that much fear that much fear of Allah should be there at the minimum that it comes between you and doing something wrong But for that, you have to make a conscience effort because the environment makes an effort to tell you, you got it all. You can have it all. And human beings are at the top of the pyramid. So we need to remember how great Allah is. This is why we do dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'll end here. I'll end here. Astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'ir al-Muslimin wa al-Muslimat. Make sure to subscribe today and make sure you like and make sure you leave your comments and ideas.